Hi, we're back. We're going to see how our bottle caps did. And this is the Wolf. And they have a very hard finish now that you're not going to hurt. And uh, colors are pretty well. I forgot to say that if you want white, white um, colors, you need to treat your paper before you pour the epoxy on. Um, I believe it's Mod Podge that you're supposed to spray on there. It's a sealant, so basically that the epoxy doesn't touch your paper. Um, the epoxy does darken some, but this didn't really darken enough for me to worry about, and I was, it saves time not to do it, so I'm okay. But if you wanted white, white, then you're gonna want to treat your paper first. I also checked on it every 30 minutes for a couple of hours and sprayed it with the lighter to make sure that the bubbles came out of it and they did. There's no bubbles in any of them. So it worked out great. Um, we're going to put these bales on them so that you could hang them on a chain. So all I have is this E600 glue and we're just going to put a little bit on the bale and then put it onto the bubble caps. I must have a side on them that is has a lot of little ridges on it. I don't know if you can see. You fill the side with the little ridges with your glue, with your glue. And that's going to give the glue a spot to purchase on this nice shiny bale. And then you just pick your spot that you want to have be the top. With these roses it's kind of hard to tell. And then you just stick it on the back. Now this E600 takes a while for it to dry so I would kind of hold it. Make sure you have the right position. You have some time to position it and make sure it's straight. But usually it seems to be about 15 seconds or so. It'll stop moving and then it should be okay. And then you have your, your necklace. Now, the last time I said I had a little bit of extra epoxy and I didn't know what I was gonna do with it. Well, what I ended up doing was making all these little gems that I'm not sure you're going to actually be able to see and filling them in with some blues and glitters and whatever I could think of because I had all this epoxy and I had these little tiny molds of gems I just I didn't know what to do with so I filled it in but I learned well actually what I thought is that if I didn't fill the mold up all the way then I wouldn't have to deal with the lip that is forming when I'm filling the mold up all the way so that I don't have to trim that and make sure it's nice and smooth. But what happened was, at least with this epoxy, when you fill it up part way, the epoxy kind of climbs up the sides and makes like a cup shape in the middle of the gem. So it, it didn't save me any time to do that and I'm not exactly sure how to even fix this cup that's in here without filling it up with more epoxy or something else. I'm gonna finish making these and but I wanted to show you what it looks like on the chain I have. I have one that we had finished earlier and I just hung it on the chain and you can see that it makes a very pretty necklace and it's very easy and this E600 sticks very well and even on this clear, it doesn't show. So um, your glue, even if you, I mean, I try and clean it up a little bit, make sure you go around the edges with your nail or a toothpick or something. But if you have a little bit that sticks out, it pretty much is so clear that it's, it's it doesn't seem to harm anything. So, but I wanted to show you what my next project is gonna be, which I'm really, really excited about. don't leave your glue with the lid off because this is happening. 
I'll have to fix that. But I found these, I don't even know what they are, washers at the hardware store. And they're just little round circles. And, but I think they're thick enough to fill and they have this really pretty, I mean, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got like a little rainbow effect on there and it's the right size for a jewelry piece. So I'm going to fill these circles with different objects, like my daughter found these neat buttons. So I'm going to put a button in the middle and make a little floating design. And I also have another one where I'm going to put, I'm going to try, because I'm not exactly sure how to do this, is starfish on there. Um, the starfish doesn't fit inside the circles, which is the problem that I'm going to have to figure out how to do. So I'm going to think on that, try and figure that out. And then I got in the mail today this wonderful spear mold. I am so excited about this. It's giant and it's probably going to use too much of my epoxy, but I think it's going to be so much fun. And I'm going to fill it up in layers with um, a beach scene again because I have all these starfish I don't know what to do with yet. So we're going to put starfish and sand and make the beach globe. So we're going to do that next time. I'm actually going to start it now, but it's going to take a while for the video to get done. So, but these will be done soon. So I hope you like these bottle caps. These were the simplest little things and I'm hoping that these will be too. I'll show you how to do, how I've looked at how these are done. I don't know if they're going to work. And this too, it's giant and most of the stuff I've seen say epoxy may not do so well in, in something this big, but we will find out. So until then, take care.